I'll go ahead and fast forward through anything that may take more than 10 seconds to do just to make the video a little bit shorter. But uh, typically this is going to take somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes. This is an i7 with 8 gigs of RAM on a Windows 8.1 PC. All right, so here's our installation. It looks very much like Windows 8. Click Next. Click Install Now. We'll go ahead and accept the license terms. All right, so we're not upgrading. This is a new install, so we'll choose Custom. We see our 40 gigabyte drive we created earlier. It should automatically format it. And now it's going through the installation process. The copying of the files actually was very quick. Usually that takes a much longer amount of time. And now it's getting ready for installation. We'll go ahead and fast forward through this next part because this is probably going to take a little bit of time. And then as soon as this is finished, we'll come back on to click next. All right, it has finished all the installation pre-requirements and now it's booting into Windows. All right, looks like we're getting ready. All right, it is all done, and we are ready to choose either to customize or choose express settings. Since this is a teaching video, we better choose the customize option. So let's see all the different options. So connected to a network, uh, is this going to be for home or public? We'll just go ahead and say it is for home or work. Update PC and apps, automatically get device drivers uh, and other uh, new updates. We'll go ahead and choose to turn that on. And do we want to use the smart screen filter to keep out malicious content? That's actually a very good feature. And then we want the do not track request, although not all websites listen to that. And we want to use compatibility list for Internet Explorer to improve experiences. Yes. And send some uh, location data to Microsoft. We're not going to do that. Go ahead and choose next. Share info with Microsoft and others. Use Bing to get search suggestions. Well, we don't really want to share any information with anybody. Internet Explorer, use page prediction to preload pages. Uh, we can leave that in there if you want. Uh, let apps use my name and account picture. Sure. Advertising uh, ID for experience across apps. Oh, we'll say no to that. Let Windows and apps request my location from the Windows location platform. Well, we'll let it request it. But uh, we still have to approve it. Get better protection from malware. And, uh, well, I don't really want to send anything off to Microsoft. Now we'll set up our account. So we have a choice here. You can either set up a local account or you can set up an account uh, with Microsoft that you either already have or create a new account. So what I'm going to do is create a local account instead because uh, the local account does not actually tie into uh, Microsoft's cloud. And that way we can just have a local experience to the computer. At least that's the way it worked in Windows 8. Alright, so uh, we'll, we'll go down to here where it says create an account. And we'll choose sign in without a Microsoft account. And you can just type anything you want. I'll just type the letter X. And uh, we'll put a password in. And for the password hint, we'll just say yes. Doesn't mean anything. And now we're finalizing our settings. So the disadvantage to logging in locally is if I have any favorites saved in Internet Explorer or setup that I have on another computer, it will not transfer over to this computer. But uh, sometimes we don't necessarily want that to happen either. All right, we're being told hello, so that's a good sign. And now it's going to set up all of the applications that come with the uh, operating system. And this usually takes anywhere from uh, 30 seconds up to a few minutes. And we'll go ahead and fast forward to that. 
All right, looks like we're past this point. It says let's start, and there is Windows 10. For the first time, let's take a look at the start menu. They're waiting for it to finish booting up, apparently. All right, looks like everything is good to go. Let's take a look now. So the start menu here is we have all apps. Showed a very small window here. So we're going to have to customize that in order to get that to work right. Click back. And this is our Explorer. It says this PC as such as it does in Windows 8.1. Let's look at Internet Explorer. Let's just uh, see if we can get to a web page. It's possible we may not have a... Oh, yes, we do. Okay, we do have a network driver installed automatically. That's a good sign. All right. And let's take a look at our file structure. See users. Looks like it has the same basic structure as it had in 8.1. And if I go over to the bottom right-hand corner, I do not see any sort of gestures that are coming up. That's interesting. And let's go ahead and right-click on the Start button. See what our options are. It looks like it shows all the control panel information. So let's take a look at the control panel. That looks very similar. Task Manager. There we go. Looks pretty much the same. We have a search button in the bottom here. Just did not have that before. And of course we have the Windows Store. And it's nice we have the minimize, maximize, and uh, X to close it if we want. So it's like it's taking a little bit of time to get into the store. So that is installing uh, Windows 10, and we'll just uh, wait for some of these other things to install, and we'll create some new videos and show more, more of it as uh, we go on.